Well, the health insurance exchange for 2024 is underway. And when we have questions, this guy has answers. He is Brian Hinker with Group Benefit Partners in Decora. And uh, Brian, uh, the health insurance exchange uh, got underway earlier this week. Anything new that folks need to know? Yeah, there's a couple big ones, Wentz. Um, one of them being there's there's two carriers still in the in the Northeast Iowa market, Wellmark and Medica. So that's been been pretty stable the last eight years, I would I would guess. Um, the the Wellmark rates actually went down. Um, Medica rates went up some, but the the price spread, the way that the the tax credits are calculated, had a dramatic effect on the Medica policy. So we're talking oftentimes anytime somewhere between 200 and 600 dollars a month increases for some of our our medica folks so they're going to want to i would think shop their options there's some pretty significant changes between medica and and wellmark in terms of network so uh, we've got a little little bit of a concern there when it comes to how the tax credits are calculated uh how does that process go uh can you explain that in a simple way, uh, in a short way uh, for this uh, radio it, interview? I'll try. I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, <laughs> but we'll go for it. It is calculated off the second cheapest silver plan in your market. So common sense would tell you that Walmart rates went down. That's a good thing. Well, not not necessarily, because when they went down, the second cheapest silver price went down as well. And so the, the tax credit subsidy amount is, is a little bit lower. Now, overall, we're not seeing that affecting the Walmart policies significantly. Um, but when Medica's went up and Walmart's went down and the tax credit went down, that's where the Medica spike is. When it comes to uh, the coverage and the availability of health care between Wellmark and Medicare, or Medica, I should say, where can uh, Medica folks uh, go? Where can Wellmark folks go here in Northeast Iowa? Yep, both, both programs have every hospital in the state of Iowa, so that's a positive. A lot of our people that have Medica, the, the reason they've chosen that, because it has been quite significantly more expensive the last couple of years is that it had Gunderson lacrosse in network. And so those folks maybe with a uh, more advanced conditions, chronic conditions, they've doctored with Gunderson forever. Uh, they were willing to pay a little bit more to have that access. Now this year, it, it appears, you know, a, a couple of days in that we're going to have um, people having to make some tough decisions on, am I going to pay five, six, $7,000 more, a year for a, a technically a plan that's worse um, in terms of coverage to be able to go to, to lacrosse. And how long do people have to uh, review this information and make a final decision before the 2024 uh, plan uh, takes effect? Well, 45 days, November 1st to December 15th. So they put you under the gun a little. You can change plans every year at this time, so it's a it's a little intense um, in terms of the, the the short window. A lot of misleading information that that the insurance companies are forced to sell out their send out to the employer or to the to the consumer. Everybody received a letter that that showed a a new rate with the old tax credit. Um, I, I just can't for the life of me figure out why our our government mandates these carriers send these letters out that are inaccurate. It just baffles me. Um, I guess it does support the postal service. They're getting paid for the delivery, but that, that's the only positive I see. Uh, um, so it's it's a tight window. The other thing, Darren, that, that we're concerned about is there's some automatic mapping. We've got a lot of folks that They've chosen a, a bronze plan that is saving them a couple hundred dollars a month. That's very similar to a silver plan. And depending on what plan you have, the, the government in their infinite wisdom may automatically map you from that bronze to the silver if you don't go through your enrollment actively. So our, our fear for, for our people or for 
the people that, that sign up on their own. If you auto 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 renew like the good old days, um, it, you could very likely switch plans to a in our estimation a worse plan that costs quite a bit more. When you use the term map, uh, define that for us. The, the the government thinks that they're doing the consumer a favor. Uh, this this gets this gets complicated too. It's it's a it's crazy. The in, in a, many of the cases, the bronze plan is better coverage than the silver. The the insurance companies kind of fluff up the the cost of the silver plan because they get more subsidy tax credit for that plan. So they're 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 just taking a a plan and and um, auto, essentially automatically re-enrolling some of our bronze people to a a plan that we would say is worse and it's going to cost a lot more. It's ridiculous. And when it comes to this information that the government uh, forces uh, insurance companies to send out to the consumer, is this one of those things where the government says they're being transparent, uh, but uh, they're not? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, somewhere along the lines, I mean, I don't know if you remember, if you like your doctor, you can keep it. Yeah. How's that? How's that one? Going? I mean, the similar stuff they've it's such a bureaucratic disaster that they, they can't get out of their own way but but thankfully they still let agents like like us and our you know even our our competitors be involved we can definitely help um our biggest fear is a lot of people do try to do it on their own maybe they've had some success in the past it's all good until it's not um costs the same whether you use a a licensed local professional or you do it on your own um we would we would recommend that you use somebody local because there's some ins and outs and when you know we every year we get dozens of people that come sheepishly like can you help and it's you know well you you, you chose not to go with us now we need to spend hours and hours and hours helping you uh we say no we can't help you now i'm just kidding we still help but <laughs> Um, but it is nice to, to go local. It truly saves time in the end for the consumer and for us, because it's a lot easier to do it right the first time versus trying to scramble your way out of it in May when, when it, you kind of figure it out and are trying to make a change and it's nearly impossible. Well, based on all the information uh, you've given us, uh, based on the changes, based on, uh, what, uh, bureaucracy uh, perhaps uh, makes you think you're doing that you're not. To me, that's proof that uh, you got to get a hold of uh, folks like you or uh, anybody else in the industry to uh, help them out. Uh, how do uh, folks get a hold of uh, you and your colleagues at your company uh, if they uh, need a hand uh, with all this uh, craziness? You bet. It's, it's 563-382-2981. I mean, Nikki and, and Peggy are the experts i'm just the radio guy but i can i help when it's really busy too but uh we're happy to help review if you did it on your own last year we can review it um it's just that it gets to be a big deal and i know people in general want to bury your head it's it's complicated it's not fun but we're this is what we do and and more importantly when something does go wrong or a claim's not processed right throughout the year that's where we can help you speed up the process versus the, the 800 number. And I'd imagine uh, I'm the worst procrastinator in the world. Uh, fortunately, I'm on my uh, wife's health insurance now, but uh, normally I would worry about this stuff about uh, December 10th and uh, make you uh, mad uh, when I came in and talked to you back in the uh, good old days. Uh, the reason, uh, part of the reason we're having this conversation right now is uh, you guys are available to do this right now, correct? We can. Yep. We are ready to roll. You know, we work some odd hours, evening and Saturdays too, for those that are at work, can't make an appointment. We can do it over the phone. Um, it's a, it's a well oiled machine now, but it's, it is tough to get through 1200 people in 45 days. So I've just looked at the calendars. They're filling up, but we'll always find a way to, to get you in. But 382-2981 is the great number. And uh, December 15th is the deadline. Uh, what aren't you allowed to do beginning December 16th? Technically, without a qualifying event, you are locked in to that plan for, for the full year of 2024. If you got divorced, married, had a child, there's some things that way that you can still get coverage. But by and large, it's uh, it's over. 
Anything and, else? And so are, they're unavailable December 16th. <laughs> well, you guys will be busy between now and then. Uh, anything we're missing? Anything else uh, you, we need to know? Not, not that I can think of, but things always come up, and maybe we'll we'll get together one more time here before the end. All right, uh, Brian, always good uh, catching up with you and uh, getting the uh, great information that folks need to know about uh, getting themselves uh, covered for 2024. I'm sure we'll be talking between uh, now and uh, December 15th. Always appreciate the uh, time, Mr. Hinker, and uh, you have yourself a great day. You as well, Darren. Take care. Brian Hinker Group Benefit Partners in Decorah. Health Insurance Exchange now open between now and December 15th.